Hello, I'm the Temin English teacher. Let's get you exam ready. Today we're preparing for our SATs and I'm going to be teaching you about adverbials of time. Before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are plenty of things on the channel to help you improve your writing. Okay, adverbials of time. Before we get going, let's just think about how we'll be assessed for our writing when we do our Key Stage 2 SATs. Your teacher looks for evidence of a range of skills in a selection of pieces of writing that are completed by you in class independently. You will be awarded one of three grades, working towards expected standard, expected standard or greater depth. Today, we're going to be thinking about adverbials of time. So let's firstly think about what an adverb is. Occasionally, slowly, quickly, angrily, greedily, steadily, softly, aggressively, kindly, rough and well are all examples of adverbs. A lot of people will talk to you about them being L-Y words. The last two are adverbs, but they don't end with L-Y. You could jump well, you can play rough. So adverbs ordinarily end with an L-Y, but not always. What's an adverbial phrase? Well, we might be interested in how, why, where or when something takes place. If more than one word is used to, to explain that, we've got an adverbial phrase. So here's an, some examples of that. With caution, in order to succeed, as fast as she could, as the day drew to a close. These are all examples of adverbial phrases. And if we put those at the front of a sentence, we'd have a fronted adverbial. So here's a sentence about Miss Jones, who's a teacher. Miss Jones would give stickers to hardworking pupils. Now, we know that she does, but we don't know how, why, when or where. This might take place so we can add some more information. And if we put our adverb or an adverbial phrase at the front of the sentence, we'll have a fronted adverbial. So here's an example of that now. Encouragingly, Miss Jones would give stickers to hardworking pupils. So we've got an adverb there followed by a comma. Here's an example of an adverbial phrase being used as a fronted adverbial. Although she didn't really want to, Miss Jones would give stickers to hardworking pupils. And I've completely changed the meaning there and given Miss Jones a very different um, personality. And here's a final example. At the end of the day, Miss Jones would give stickers to hardworking pupils. So that's explaining when something takes place. So I can add extra information to my sentences. And if I put that phrase or that adverb at the front of a sentence, followed by a comma, I've used a fronted adverbial. So let's think now about what an adverbial of time is, something that you are expected to evidence in writing if you're going to be heading towards greater depth in your key stage two. So that's writing. So we've got some examples here of words and phrases that are telling us when something might be taking place. Occasionally, later, rarely, all of a sudden, as the day drew to a close, yesterday, a month ago, often. So these are examples of adverbials of time. And if you use one of those phrases or words at the front of a sentence, followed by a comma, you would be using an adverbial of time as a fronted adverbial in a sentence. And here's a practice task to help you to um, use some of your own. We've got these five sentences and you are to use a fronted adverbial at the beginning of each. Can you use an adverbial of time followed by a comma for each of these sentences? The old man read his newspaper. The girl played football. The family ate a meal together. The dog chased a squirrel and the lady would feed her cat. In order to make these more ambitious, use some fronted adverbials to explain when these things took place. OK, check out the other videos on my channel. I'll continue to add content. Feel free to ask something you'd like to see me cover in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and keep revising.